So, welcome back to the spider's web. And we're back with your man. You might recognise him from the video just done. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a of an indication where the thingy was, the uh, the gap between the model's base and the extra bases. So what I did with my other uh, models of this thing was I got the GW basing kit with the medium basing slate tub. I got my super glue. I added some super glue to the base. Oops, hang on a second. Like so. And added some of the stones. to have it touching the model at all. There we go. And there's going to be some at the front as well. And some smaller pieces of slate. There's that one. And just a little dab more and We'll go with that one. So there we are, there's some stone there. And what we're going to have to do once the super glue is dried is come back and paint it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this away for the time being and I'm going to make a start on your man here. <coughs> Now as I say, I want this fella slightly different. That's where Abaddon Black comes in handy. We are going to be going for slightly different. But we're going for slightly the same as well because we will be needing the fang. But first, let's start off with the fang. And as per usual, Already starts whinging as soon as I start doing something. Now, as per usual, we will start off by painting all the basic armor first with the fang. Next we're going to do this part which is going to be mainly the fang. In fact, sorry, not looking at it, there's only going to be a small part of it that's the fang, it's going to be mainly black. Because I was looking at it completely the wrong way. <laughs> which is usually the case for me. Okay, so that's the fang parts done for this model. Next, it's the black parts. Now, everything else for this is going to be black.
might have been an idea if I'd have done one part of this, done the rest of the model, and then done the other, but never mind. I'll leave that as is for the time being until it's dried and then we'll come back to it um, later on. Okay, so as I said we need to go back over certain parts of the fang areas. I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to do this with it being uh, a little bit. In fact, what I'm going to do as well, not just change brushes, I'm going to pop this onto a paint lid. Then I can grab hold of it easier. That's better. Okay, so. So we're going back to the fang and we're just touching up certain areas where I've, uh, slight, where I've caught with the, the black. I'm not going over everywhere, obviously. And I think that is it. There's not much to do on this. But I think actually what I'm going to do is go over his uh, helmet in the fang this time. Just to make it stand out from the rest of it. There we are. That needs doing and just a touch on his arm here because I've not done as good a job as I thought I had in covering this. That's better. I don't think it was that arm. I think it was this arm, wasn't it? It was this arm, sorry. I missed a little bit behind the... Okay, so as you can see, our sniper is almost ready to go. The arm is finished. So, oh, the arm is finished. The arm is dry. So I'm just going to go over with black on the arm on his shoulder pad it can be poking up from under his cape so we're not going to see a great deal of it but what I'll try and do is make sure we're Quite a bit of it is painted sufficiently. There we are. We may we may have to go over again once I've uh, agitated it. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? After I've glued this on, I may have to just touch it up a little bit with the black, but <coughs> time will tell. There we are. Okay, there's still a little bit of uh, wet black paint there, so I'll just give it a few more minutes. And while I'm giving it those few minutes, let's have a look at this fella, see if it's dry enough to be able to paint. Because the last thing we want to do is start put, touching our brushes to um, wet. Super glue. No, there is still some damp, but super glue there. I can see from that 
that's the brush as you can see so that's that's just a scrubbing old brush that I've got so I'm not worried about that one so that's not dry at all yet it takes the gel a bit longer to dry fully so I can't paint that so I can't really do much with that for the time being in fact all we want to do now is wash that doesn't it so Drakenhof nightshade and we're just going over the uh, areas that we painted with the fang that's all we're doing so we can do that now it's not gonna get in our way Finally, just this arm that needs doing, and that's it. So now while we're waiting for that to dry, I can just give the gun a dry brushing over with the bolt gun metal, or as it's called now, iron breaker. I keep forgetting that bit. Sorry. That's the, that used to be a bolt gun metal. And we just quite simply waft over. Wafty, 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 wafty. And I won't be putting any white, uh, any red on this. As I say, he's a sniper, it would look silly if he got uh, colours on his gun. Because he really wants it to stand up. He would really want it to um, be more muted. And <coughs> And the way I'm going to do that is by giving it a wash when it's dry with Nuln Oil. That will mute down the colour of the um, what you may call it, the bolt gun metal. is it. That's his gun, and that's his armour and that's his cape sorted out. So when we come back what's going to happen is we're going to be highlighting this fella, uh, same, as it, same as we did with the others on the blue, the black we're going to be doing um, slightly different. Uh, so it's going to fit in rather nicely with how we're doing it at least that's what I'm hoping okay so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now <laughs>